So I was I was looking at CSTCM and SWAC up in Boulder for schools to transfer to from San Diego, and I really liked the community feel that I had when I walked into CSTCM. Um, yeah, everyone just kind of seems like a little family here, and that was really different from the school that I transferred from, where it was a much more, um, the setting was more clinical, and it, no one, everyone was kind of on their own mission, where here it feels like everybody's working together and it's really supportive. So yeah, I had a good vibe when I walked in. <laughs> I'm all over the place because I transferred. Um, I think I'm somewhere between six and seven. <laughs> so I have about a year left, I think. Gotcha. Yeah. And are you AC or TCM? TCM, all the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you say all the way? Um, I, feel like, I feel like you have to learn the herbal. Well, I think you get a lot more experience and exposure to DND when you do the TCM program because um, you're forced to go over everything like a second time with learning the herbs and the formulas. Um, and yeah, I just, I feel like something's missing if you don't do both, but that's my personal opinion. I've heard other people say the complete opposite, like, no, they're completely separate. But to me, it felt, felt incomplete without herbs. And I love herbs, it's fun <laughs> and challenging. Really great. Um, that was a huge, a huge part of me transferring was kind of like allowing it to take a natural process to where if I had to force it, I wasn't going to do it. Um, so I started the process with contacting the administration here, Chris and the deans, and um, just trying to see if it was even an option to transfer. And they they were so accommodating and they helped me with getting all the transfer credits that I could, which was huge, you know, you're, you're paying a lot of money to go to school and it's a lot of time, so they were really great with it. Um, I got, I think, almost everything that I needed transferred over and yeah, they really allowed me to come into the program and take classes from different trimesters so that I was able to have a full schedule while I was here and um, yeah, still be fully immersed into the program. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I like, I like the small community. It feels like a family, which was huge because I was transferring from a state that I, I didn't know anyone here. I knew one person, I knew my boyfriend. And so coming here and uh, being a part of a program where it didn't feel competitive with each other and it, it truly feels supportive. Um, this is my first term in the clinic and my partner is amazing, I love her. And that's awesome, not feeling intimidated by everyone else and um, yeah, it doesn't feel like a competition. It feels like a very supportive community. Um, I also really like the building. <laughs> Things in San Diego don't look like this. It's so cool in here. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's homey and comfortable. Yeah, I really like it. I like the way it smells because it smells like moxa. <laughs> so oh, wait, one more thing. I love the herbal pharmacy. That's so cool. Having access to all of those different lines of products is unbelievable. At my old school, we just had granules, which is awesome, and then raw herbs, but so many people are even like, I can't take those when it comes to the granules. So, so having access to all the different patents is pretty phenomenal. And because they're cheaper, people like that. So yeah, it's kind of the world we live in where it's easier to pop a pill than to like boil herbs every day. Yeah, so I love access to that. It's fun, it's easy to learn from. <laughs> Um, so I live, I live a mile and a half away, which is great. It's really convenient. Colfax is an eclectic mix, um, but I love it. And I think that, I don't know, I feel good here. I think any walk of life can like find a, find a niche here and like feel good. Yeah, it's a welcoming place. Yeah, I like this area. Yeah, it's fun. And you're still only 20 minutes from the mountains. Boom, done. I love it. I mean, I, I get, I go into the mountains every weekend because it's convenient, it's easy. But then like, I'm still young, so I like having a life and being down here, it's fun. It's a good mix. No, I missed the Chinese New Year celebration, but 
I, there's a barbecue in the summer, and I honestly, like two weeks ago, I said to my boyfriend, I was like, we're going to that, I need to be more involved. <laughs> and so he was like, okay. <laughs> so yes, I want to. That's another thing that I love about the school. The, the deck, the sun deck upstairs, that's incredible. I love it. You have like the nice hum of the traffic, but you like full sunlight all day. It's beautiful. Yeah. Good views. Ah, oh, the views. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a massage therapist, so yes, but I work for myself. It's super flexible. So I, I, um, before or right when I started the program in San Diego, I had the opportunity to like work under an acupuncturist out there and I asked her what she would have done differently if she could go back in time and go back to acupuncture school and she said I would have gotten um, my I would have been, gotten licensed to massage because it's a way to a, it, it goes great with acupuncture, and B, it's a way to kind of help keep yourself financially afloat while you're in school, and then when you first get out of school and you're either trying to start your own practice or find a job, or waiting that lag time sometimes with getting licensed, and it's also a good way to kind of get uh, patients and then maybe transition them over to being your acupuncture clients eventually. Uh, so I did that and it's been great. I mean, the more bodies you can get your hands on and get experience with, the better practitioner you're going to be. Um, I think that I can tell a difference between somebody who does massage when they're draping their acupuncture patients or even trying to manipulate their bodies on the tables to get them in certain positions. Like, you just get more comfortable with touching people and not making it weird <laughs> or uncomfortable for anyone. So yeah, that's been great. <laughs> Um, balance. You think I'd be good at answering this because that's like what the entire medicine is about, right? Balance, everything. But, um, I don't know. I don't overthink it. I know when I need to study and I do it. And I know when I need to take time for myself and I do it. I, I, I would never say that I don't get stressed, but I think that you just deal with it. You do it. If you if you if you're committed to learning this and you want to do it, then you just do it. And it's 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 in, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. If you want to practice this medicine, I think all of our instructors have told us you're going to be studying for the rest of your life. So you better learn to love it and get used to it. I wouldn't get used to it. I'd learn to love it. And just do it and do the things you love. And then if you love studying and you love learning the medicine, then that's part of your balance. It's gonna feel good to do it. It doesn't have to be this huge burden in your life, you know? I think that when you come to school, they, they want you to know that you need to be committed. So they, you know, they really tell you like, hey, listen, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices. This takes a lot of time. And it does, but it's, ex it's fun. I don't know. You're, you're learning a trade that you're hopefully gonna be doing for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be so burdensome. And if it is, then pff, get out. <laughs> I don't want you to be my practitioner. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, tests are stressful, but I don't know. You just find balance. Do what you love, study. Don't get behind in studying. That's the first thing. <laughs> That'll drive you insane, but yeah. Um, absolutely, yes. Uh, let me think of something with more context. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. I think it's a great school. It's a great location if you want to be near the mountains, but you also want sort of like an urban feel to your life. Um, the school is beautiful, I think. Has really great faculty, staff, administration. I haven't met anybody I don't like yet. <laughs> um, and I mean that genuinely. Everyone's been really, really welcoming. And I think I have a little bit, I'm, I didn't come in with, you know, 10 other new students where we all get to form an opinion together and like, it's just me. I came in, I'm new, I had something to compare it to. And every, because I came from PCOM, which is a much bigger school and maybe has like more, more people have heard of it, even though no one's really heard of these schools in general. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're an what? <laughs> but um, 
I feel like everybody that asked me or that I told, oh, I transferred from PCOM, they, why? Why'd you do that? And I'm like, what do you mean, why? This school is, it's awesome. It's right up there and, you know, every school has its perks and its flaws and I'm sure we'll all find something that we don't love, but it's a great school. I really like everybody here. The clinic's awesome and you're busy, which is huge. You're getting a ton of experience. Um, and I genuinely feel like if I needed help with something or I was struggling with something, whether it's academic or not feeling comfortable in my surroundings here, I could name like 10 people I could go to and I've only been here for four months. So that says something. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but I really do feel welcomed, <laughs> which is cool. <laughs>